Today we're going to compare an ICF house right to the rafters versus a 2x6 wall with spray foam insulation. And we're just going to run through this quick just to give you the gist, give you something to think about. So this is a garage, I just want to show you how much lumber is in the walls. Each stick of lumber is a thermal break, thus reducing your R value. Okay. I've done a quick calculation, I won't go through it. My wall area of wood, that doesn't count openings, is 724 square feet of wall. Then I have my studs take up 71.5 square feet, my headers are 13 square feet, and my two top plates and my bottom plate is 33.5 square feet. It's 118 square feet total of area of this structure that's lumber. That's versus 724. 16% of my walls have an R value of about 6.5, give or take. Now, that's 16% of my wall. Every single stud is losing heat or losing cold, depending if you're trying to put air conditioning in or heating, okay? You're building a house, you've done an ICF basement, which a lot of people are a fan of, but they're too afraid or whatever the reason, they don't want to go to the main floor, they think it's too much money, okay? But they want to, they say, okay, I want it efficient, so I'll spray foam it. That's fine and dandy. You spray foam all of that, you still have your thermal bridging, you still have a wood wall that is changing constantly due to temperature and moisture. And the other thing to note is, and I've seen this experience at first hand with people who've done this, is they spray foam their walls, and then because that's your vapor barrier, you don't actually need to add the poly, therefore they're not doing acoustical sealant on the top plates, around their doors, where you know your studs are doubled up, bottom plates, so then you get air infiltration, which is a huge heat loss factor as well, okay? Now let's just show an ICF system. So you have this ICF block. It's got continuous insulation all the way around. You have two layers. So you stack these blocks up, you fill them with concrete. They're structural. The foam, you have to keep in mind, the foam stays, that's your R value. So you, you build your structure out of that. The concrete as well adds thermal mass that actually doesn't get calculated into R value and stuff, but it does add a factor that we won't get into detail right now. But let's just talk about costs, okay? And just this is rough. Okay, spray foam is anywhere from 350 to 450 a square foot, depending who you shop through, right? The cost of this block is around 425 a square foot. So you don't do the spray foam, buy the block. The labor to install the block and pour it is roughly the same as framing a building. Then you're paying for the concrete, okay? So that adds a little bit of cost there. Now, whenever I've calculated it on a whole entire house, it's maybe up to 5% more on an entire build, okay? But then you also gotta think, you're, not, you're still not comparing apples to apples. You're comparing one system that's continuous insulation, no thermal breaks, to something that is pretty good. So no matter how much insulation or technology that you throw at this wall, it doesn't matter. You spray foam it, you could have the best R value in your world, you still have all those thermal bridges and all those breaks, okay? You still have a wall that's moving all the time, depending on moisture levels in the air and humidity and that kind of thing. The ICF system, you don't have to do anything different to it to make it any better. It's a built-in system, it's very simple. If I want to try to make a wood structure with continuous insulation, then I'm doing more steps, more labor, to get it to try to equate. And the only way I know of that's simple is adding foam to the outside of it. But then you're just chipping away at that percentage and that percentage soon is at zero. But you have more farting around. The ICF system is so simple, it's just built in. You do it and you, you can't compare it. And it's so simple. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out on some of the following.